Right, so today we are going to install these uh, equal length headers on this 89 Mustang. So one of the first things that we're going to do is loosen the bolts down where the X-pipe bolts to the original header. And uh, we're going to do that on both sides just to get that loose from under there. And then afterwards we're going to get them loose from the head and then see how hard it is to put those ones on there. So just follow along and we'll show you what we have to do to put those on. Alright, so we're starting with the bolts on the bottom. Uh, so you can see my colleague down there is taking those down. Um, I'm going to start to take these off. So obviously you have all the bolts here that are connected to the head. Um, the instructions say to remove the wires and spark plugs and that's probably so when you're sliding the new header in you don't you know, hit those on there. So we're going to go ahead and remove the spark plugs and wires. And then we also have to remove this uh, dipstick, you know, um, to put the new header on. And then uh, we're going to have to probably modify it a little bit so it fits. So we'll go through that as well. So we'll take all these bolts, spark plugs, and wires out of the way. Um, you know, if you're doing this, this is probably a good time to check your spark plugs since you're going to have them off anyways. And just see if you need to replace them. I mean, might as well put a new ones since you have them off already. So um, these are the factory you know studs and bolts on here the kit comes with new bolts that are you know smaller heads so it's easier clearance um, I would just recommend saving these with the stock manifolds um, you know whether you're gonna sell them or just save them for another engine you always want to keep these they come in handy to to have the factory ones so. all right so we got all the bolts off here uh, the dipstick once you get the bolt off here it just pulls out um, I would recommend, you know, when you, you just pull it out, um, we had put an o-ring at the end of the dipstick, you can't really see it here, but, um, I also had a little bit of RTV just around here on top, keeps it from leaking, um, but just pull it out, and then, so now that everything is loose, like I said, we're just loosening the nuts down there, we're just gonna pretty much pull this out gonna pull out of the way and obviously you know we have a comparison here um, one to the other these aren't bad from factory you know Ford did a decent job with these um, but as you can see the BBK ones are a lot bigger tubes um, they're a lot smoother you know these have all these little kinks here um, you know here where the steering shaft goes where these are Well, they're the same size all around uh, The other difference on these equal length ones is instead of just being you know This one is longer and then this one just goes down They make this tube is the same length as this tube. So that's why it wraps around You know, so it's supposed to give you a little bit better power just because it equals the exhaust flow out of its cylinder um, So next I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you can kind of see there, but um, remove the old gasket material off the head, clean it up really well, and then we'll slide that new header back in there. Hopefully it'll slide back in. If not, we might have to raise the engine a little bit off the motor mount, but we'll check here in just a moment. All right, so we're back over here with our header install. We got our good music jamming on the background, but anywho, um, this header right there is on place we were able to slide it in right through here um, the lights kinda shining on the camera here so it fit right in between here um, you know we got it sitting on there we haven't bolted it down yet um, it's probably gonna be harder for me to pull it out and put it in but see it just went in there like that um, before I go ahead and start putting the gaskets on there and everything we're gonna go ahead and put the studs right here um, the BBK kit comes with everything you need so it's it's really nice uh, BBK parts always come with everything you need um, and their fitment is great so I like using them so we're gonna install these on here just like the factory manifolds um, you know put some uh, good anti seats on there and then and we're gonna throw them back on there um, we're gonna throw the gaskets 
once it's sitting in place, we're just gonna move it out of the way, put the gaskets in there, and then, you know, use the bolts to go on there. Um, again, I like using anti-seize on all these head bolts, just so they don't seize up on us. And just one thing that I really like using is the Permatex Ultra Copper. Um, it's really good on exhaust gaskets and it makes it so that you don't really get leaks. So uh, we'll follow here along when we're putting the gasket, okay? Alright, so we got this first header already on the head there. Um, again, once we laid it on here, all I did was, you know, we just kind of let it tilt off the head, squeeze the gasket in there. I uh, got one bolt on one end, on each end, and then just, you know, start threading right onto the head. Um, then we just did the other bolts. Um, on the X pipe or the H pipe underneath, we're gonna have to loosen it at the cap back on the back just so it moves a little bit more to get the flange all bolted on there. Um, it's pretty much at the right spot, but it needs to move a little bit, so we'll just do that. And then the dipstick tube, it actually just went in there, um, you know, like factory, and you know, the piece that goes onto the bolt right there, it's gonna match up to the bolt. So we're not actually gonna have to really move anything on there. Um, if anything, what I'm just looking at right now, we might have to kind of force it towards the engine just a little bit so it doesn't hit the, the uh, header tube right there, but I think once it's bolted down, it'll clear itself. So, um, so once I finish tying these up, uh, we'll put new spark plugs on there, hook up the wires, and we'll move on to the passenger side after this one. Alright, so we are done on this driver's side here. Uh, as you can see, uh, headers all bolted on. Got the new plugs and wires and then the dipstick on there. Everything fit well. Um, once we loosened up the H-pipe underneath, we were able to get it lined up. Um, so we'll just wait to tighten up all the exhaust underneath to the other side is on. Um, just the uh, heads up on this side, spark plug, you know, your, your ratchet and socket barely fits, but it does fit on there. Same with the one where the dipstick is. Um, it's tight, but you can fit it on there. So, you know, you could change the spark plugs after you've done this, no problem. Uh, it is a little bit tighter than factory, but you know, it is, you are able to do it. So, um, we'll move on to the passenger side one. Uh, from what I hear, this is the harder one. So we're gonna take the intake tube off. We don't have the air pump on there anymore. So it's gonna make it easier for us as well. But we do have all the AC lines in the way and all that, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and then start removing the OE manifold and we'll keep on doing it. Alright, so we're back on this passenger side. Um, as you can see the header sitting in there. So to take the old one off, obviously it comes right off, you don't have to do anything. But to put this new one in, we did have to lift the engine. Um, you know, obviously we just took the two nuts off of the motor mount on both sides. Uh, there's one on this side, one on the other side. And then we just used a piece of block with the jack to lift the engine up. And uh, we probably only lifted it an inch, if that. Um, I really don't think we lifted it more. But with that, you know, with loosening it from the motor mounts and lifting it, you can tilt the engine back and forth. Um, you know, just pushing on it and that made it so we can slide the header in there. So now that it's in there, um, again, we're just gonna go ahead and slide the gasket right in between here. I always do put the RTV on the gasket, like I said, and then I'll use, you know, one bolt here, one bolt on the back to line it up and start it, start it by hand, and then I, I'll finish the other bolts and then bolt it on. So we'll show you here in a moment. Um, on the H-pipe again, we you know we had to pull it down a little bit so it clears it. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and come back once we do that and got it all bolted on for you. All right, so we have this passenger side header all set up in there. Um, again, once we got the engine lifted, it slid right in place. Uh, everything bolted on really nice. Um, the only thing I did on this AC line, I make sure I put a zip tie right over here. Make sure you get it close to the frame. Um, so you can see there's very little room there, so you don't want it to be hitting on the on the header there, but other than that, uh, my colleague is down there tightening up the H-pipe to the header. Everything lined up good. We're just gonna end up uh, 
finish up tying up the H-pipe. Um, I got the spool sole tying up here. I'm gonna put the new plugs on this side, the wires on there, and then put the intake. And uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up and make sure everything looks good, so. All right, so we're done with the installation. Uh, you know, everything is back together. The, uh, you can see the headers there, so we're gonna go ahead and get it started. Make sure we don't have any leaks. So, obviously if you had a flange leak, it'll be very loud, you can hear it. Um, everything comes good. Everything sounds good. Uh, I don't hear no leaks. Uh, you know, just remember after you're done, drive the car around 500 to 1,000 miles. I would jack it back again, tying up all your bolts on the exhaust and uh, the bolts right on the head on the headers. Um, just because they'll come loose a little bit and if you leave them, you might blow on the gasket. So, uh, so that's it. Pretty simple, easy install on the long uh, shorty headers or equal length headers. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Keep posted for more videos and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.